Uh, thank you so much. My name is uh, Kevin Jamai. Kevin Jamai is uh, a Christian. I'm married. I'm Kenyan. Uh, my county is Kiambu. I also come from Makueni County. I come from three counties, to be very honest. That is what's in the issue. Uh, Makueni and uh, Kiambu. So I have three governors. It's very unique. Um, professionally, I'm a lecturer. I, I teach in the universities. Um, I'm also a politician. I buyed last year the MP of Speaker Town. The first Kamba to be on the ballot ever since independence. So I'm called Speaker One in the politics. Uh, on the other side, um, I also do business. I have a tour farm called Shooting Stars Tours and Travel. Uh, we do internal and external tours. I also have a college called St. Aniton's Technical Institute. It's a long thicker road between Roisambo and uh, Githurai, a place called uh, Custom Hill. Uh, basically, that is me. I'm a father also, married to one wife. Jina langu naitua Evelyn Bondomweke, natokea Tanzania. Nilipata mzee kutoka Kenya. Nekamua nije nikai na ee huku. Um, Najishugulisha na biashara, ndogo ndogo, pamoja na kampuni yetu ya shooting start, ya tours. I'm a Kenyan, she's a Tanzanian, as we've heard. Uh, being a lecturer, I've been going out for several conferences outside Kenya. It so happened that in 20... 2015. 2015. 2015, yes. Mm -hmm. I went to Dar es Salaam for a conference. Uh, and we met at the conference with Anasha. Uh, fortunately, that time, the current Tanzanian president, uh, President Samia Sulu, was the guest of honor. Mm -hmm. And actually, I saw a beautiful lady who gave us a very good service. Tanzanians are unique. You should try you guys. Eh? <laughs> uh, she gave me a good reception because I was very new uh, in Tanzania. That was the first time I went to Tanzania. Uh, because I had a night flight. Just arrived in the morning, I didn't know where to go in Dar es Salaam using the GPS. And uh, she gave me a very good uh, reception, showed me where the conference was. And actually, she became like my, uh, is it a bodyguard? The whole, mm -hmm. the whole of that day until I felt like I'm home. So that's where we met, basically, yeah, in Tanzania. Yes. Dar es Salaam, yes. Na, bada ya hapo, mazoya ndo ya kaanza pole 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 pole, ikaanza nakuja Kenya nini nini basi nakaona mzee hapa basi mambo ikaanza hapo so unaona our t-shirts zimeandikwa since 2015 i wish you could tell uh, since mm, will how did i approach her initially it was very official uh, because i was in conference but uh, we got used to one another nilizoeana akanipea contact zake and compare of course men we start eh? <laughs> naomba na namba kule unasema tunaomba unasema ni pe namba yako eh so, naomba namba nikazoea kuomba nikaomba namba nikapewa namba basi tu kazoea and um, we started just chatting talking after the conference i came back to kenya and we kept on talking so um along the way it was like what do you do for life are you married where do you come from in tanzania is very big yeah? mm. so where do you come from and she told me i'm from Dar es Salaam. what about you my home is kibwez originally ah then like let's keep on talking can you come to kenya she said yes i will mm. then a date was there we met in nairobi went to mombasa nilifurahia sana baada ya yote hayo nilimuomba kwamba harusi yetu tufanye nani tanzania that was 2015 mm. our wedding was 20 2019, 2019 august 24 24th tanzanians are very unique preparation for weddings something they call um, a pre-wedding i've never seen something like that i think kenya we should get some great inaitwa nani send off a send off yes no huko inaitwa nani pre-wedding pre-wedding kule ni send off that is the main wedding in tanzania um we stayed for about let's say four years that is official time from 2015 up to 2019 so almost mm. four years uh dating from a distance of course with some challenges mm. Sometimes we don't reach her, we don't get her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, 2018, mm. around, uh, okay, 2019 actually, mm -hmm. around March, I decided to go to Tanzania now to 
what we call kuomba hawa anasema tupe dawa tupe kuomba alafu kulipa dawa in Tanzania is very unique you write a letter huku sisi atuombe atuandike barua we went to salam we met in a hotel called wanyama in Tanzania dar salam hotel that's where we always stayed then uh, she drafted the letter because i could not write the kiswahili you can't write mm. in english unaandika barua ya kuomba mm. mke okay. uh, i still have that letter in my in my diary somewhere yes um you write a letter to the parents then you went home where the parents were waiting for us unfortunately i went there with only two friends from kenya who we met in salam because sometimes when you're going to look for somebody would you come out of kuza or takubaliwa these are different countries that i but actually the reception was really wonderful um we were received so well a convoy of only two cars <laughs> hey we got my little convoy of yeah? two, two cars then uh, something funny i discovered in tanzania especially when you're going to the parents for the first time to say that i want to marry your daughter you don't go inside and you don't talk for yourself unaambiwa leta mshenga a spokesperson in that matter so my friend was one of my friends was my mshenga so the spokesperson I, i didn't talk i didn't say anything of course you not need to give him a lot of details about uh, about what you want the uh, the most you are given a checklist like the what you're supposed to say my mshenga was a really good guy uh, by the name uh, musyoka musyoka is from utawala here So becomes most of whatever you are you are really the man who made my wedding today and Mr Daniel and Mr. too Mr Daniel too thank you so much whatever you are I really appreciate you you are exactly what we are the family um yes then we were told to give out the, the letter then everybody went to the the big house we gave out the letter that we had written everybody went to the big house and we were left outside it's like when uh, the catholics are waiting for a new pope <laughs> so two, things are too so she had told me that um okisikia nduru tu your things are good if they come out without talking too bad so I was so nervous extremely nervous tuliokea vinywa ya point but i didn't take even a glass waiting for the white smoke from the house <laughs> and you remember that time you have not met with her she has been away you don't know where she is Um then I was like fine whatever comes I'll go back nobody knows there are only two these two guys so hata kikumana naingia sherehe So um after some time actually to be precise about one hour waiting outside mm. we had some screams and I said oh yes it's a good so the ladies came out singing the good songs and now we're told that I know relax that's the time I took a sip of water this is how the proposal went eh After that day, barua kukubaliwa na sisi kuambiwa ni sawa. I was given the the list of what is required. Now what you call dowry. Then I was told give yourself a period of time, maybe two months, three months, one year, the way you want. I said give me is it two months? Give me two months. The third month I'll be back. And for sure. Ndungani ukanivisha na hiyo siku ya dowry ukanabalisha engagement ring. Yes. So, so siku ya ya dowry mm-hmm. then kakuja na mahari with my sisters and all that mm-hmm. i proposed now, na engagement engagement ring i came with it yes. that day watu wanangojea tu baada ya siku ingia kwa nyumba tumeongea tumepeana kila kitu mm-hmm. nikatoka hapo nje and i proposed before everybody yes and now we are given go ahead to set our wedding eh uh, mm. sasa ndo mimi nakuja nafanya hiyo send off alafu after send off silikuwa ni one day tu one day one day after send off ikawa rose that send off was on 22nd of august which is a birthday and 24th august is my birthday that is the day for the wedding so yeah. that's how it is ah uko kwetu tunatumana tu just send somebody my parents and kwa msichana waambie maybe even she's at a place Tanzania you cannot stay with a lady without going to the parents that's a different thing mm. and two you must write a letter to the parents arakana mm. wajomba what the uncles and the aunties they decide and there are so many questions what does he do how do you know him mm. which tribe is he all those things so it's like you have a checklist of interview questions 
that go through the panel. That's why I tell you, you need you need you need the white smoke. So um, another thing is that um, you don't you don't uh, stay with the lady until you are married. Mm. <laughs> So that is, a, that is the difference because um uko Kenya unaenda na mke wako mnatoka mnaishia utakuja kesho. Huko mm. <laughs> hakuna kitu kama hiyo. You will only see her when officially she is your wife at the mm. church. Yeah, those are just like but generally sherehe zote ni sawa. Mm. Wanapiga sherehe wa Tanzania nzuri sana. Mm. And I really feel good because they really appreciate Kenyans so much. Yeah. So I think we were told that you go to be she's a, a Tanzanian ambassador to Kenya. And I'm the ambassador there. Officially, in their culture, I'm the ambassador. Mimi, kwa ujumla, nilipelekwa kwanza, kwa mara ya kwanza, kasi kupelekwa kwa mama, ama kwa baba. Nilipelekwa kwa shosh. Shosh, yani... Grandmother. Grandmother ya mzee ndo nikaenda kutambulishwa huko baadaye nikaja kutambulishwa sasa kwa mama yake kwa sababu baba yake hayupo nikatambulishwa kwa mama vizuri kwa sisters brothers and other relatives kwa kweli nilipokelewa vizuri sana sikuona tofauti yoyote na kama niko nyumbani yani walimpokea poa siku feel baguzi ama nini hapana nilijisikia vizuri si tunapenda sasa hmm? napenda <laughs> kweli hata sisters walikuwa poa nilifurahi normally you take your wife to your relatives mm. and see the reaction actually everybody was impressed me getting a tanzanian lady was a mm. great thing but my sister was like uko kwote ujapata ingine hapa and i was like you know what huh? that's where i've seen the, the best flower and uh, mm. i want you to see it nawalimpokea mzuri it was very nice my grandmother was almost 100 years she passed on just the other, the other day uh, my dad was late not by then but my mother was still there although she's late now she passed on 20 20 19 years before our marriage before my shika ah. yeah so uh, basically i didn't my my dad never saw her mm. but my mom saw her and my grandma um, and the reception was good no more way visiting the the families meeting the uncles my aunties all of them at least she, she was welcome well mm. na nilifurahia sana kitu ile kipindi kitafuta pesa about our wedding <laughs> yes alikuwa eh hiyo waga nakumbuka mpaka leo he was having two cars oh. ilibidi ya sell moja ndo apate enough money for our marriage because um he didn't get a good support from friends to be and family honest, too to be very honest mm. even this mami arusi yangu na mm. mahari yangu and the reason why i, I had to struggle my, my my cousins came in and supported a bit we have a, a welfare in a family called bamwa who came in but basically i always go by my dad's word my dad told me kama una uwezo wa kuwa mwanamke kulipa mahari mm. wachana na yeye you should be ready to have money to get dowry for your wife arusi ni sawa but dowry must be your own and that's my the theory that i go with today and i did that myself but uh, friends came in for my wedding and uh, we we were good we also friends in tanzania who really assisted us there's a lady who is a uh, uh, a news anchor in tanzania called azam tv mm. she's a good friend they grew together yeah. Fatuma, Fatuma, she's watching, Fatuma Stambul. She's watching definitely she's still at Fatuma Istanbul. Yeah. Azam TV and Teddy from Intend, Sinza. Uh, Sinza from so, Sinza. Yeah. We had good friends from both Kenya and their side. But basically I struggled for my marriage.
harusi ilikuwa Tanzania Dar es Salaam mm -hmm. a Catholic sababu ya Catholics so we, 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 we married we wedded in uh, Tegeta Dar es Salaam a Catholic church um the send off was in uh, Tanzania also Dar es Salaam what mm -hmm. was the the, 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 the red. hall red court is it red, red court red court in mm -hmm. Tanzania very nice um, very nice na tulikuwa tuna na nini tuna nguo tulinunua huku tulinunua nguo ya pre wedding in Kenya but the wedding dress from Tanzania. Tanzania my suit mm. uh, i got it from Kenya from Kenya also international uh, so, those are made on our wedding ilikuwa ni Tanzania, Tanzania tulishona yes yes tulishona huko tulishona huko za yeah. made decorations and events everything, everything was done from Tanzania Tanzania, Tanzania. To be very honest Tanzania Dar es Salaam especially is very hot ni kama Mombasa eh So normally functions and events happen in the afternoon Hakuna ruhusa saa 4 kama huko kwetu saa 4 mm. Inaanza saa 8 Inaanza saa 8 Hata hiyo pre wedding na kulipa mahari ni June because it's very hot Um so we started our day in the afternoon from different places in, in the morning alikuwa... tulienda salon Yeah, in the morning we we are lenda kutengenezwa mm. the makeup and all that mimi nikaenda na his cousins kaenda makeup na wanaume and uh, it took like um half day mm. tengenezwa kunolewa kupamba una kama nzuri makeup kupandishwa yes. gown and, and then we were supposed to meet around 2 in church so we are right on time i think nobody was late Uh, there were no feelings akukwa na mafeeling that oh umechelewa umeniweka we got we were coordinating uh, through phones to fix on time to fix on time depends of like two minutes all the cars were there mm. my cousins were there my sisters were there yes na harusi kaanza nzuri ya kristo ya actually we also had some training at tegeta catholic church because mm. you need to go for some training at tegeta so i was in tanzania for about a month mm. for all those teachings and that but we had to get a referral from our catholic church in, in Kibwezi okay. where I normally go in the village was lazima uthibitishia kwamba yes mm. uh, this is your church and this is where you go catholic is very universal whatever happens is, is exactly what happens in Tanzania prayers the same procedure the same so we went through all that procedure and we were given a go ahead it was very nice the day was uh, very colorful actually with a lot of anxiety after all those toils running up and down uh, looking for clothes nini nini kupanga uh, event extension itakuwa wapi um, but actually i cannot say there was any strain god is good i did not have any challenge about uh, the, the, the arrangement delays lack mm. of money it went all smoothly we finished and then after that we went for photo shooting or that then we went for the extension at a place called the Naitwa Jipale Jiu. Bahari Beach. Bahari Beach then from Bahari Beach we went to extension Kenya kulikuwa kwa kina Goba. Eh yeah, Goba. Goba is a place in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. It's on the height or whatever is it high height where you high can height, overlook yeah. the sea it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Hapo ndo tulikuwa na extension yetu. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Tukakula pale tuka dance pale tuka toa zawadi zetu. Then from there we Kuku zilikuwa tamu hadi zikaisha. Kuku zilikuwa. Kuku zilikuwa tamu I say. Eh? I don't know how those guys cook that chicken. <laughs> It's so sweet. Back what we were Then we were like, ay, what was Shiba? We had to place another quick order. It was brought some more chicken. And thank you Fatuma and uh, Teddy. Teddy I and really and Teddy. She was there. Ndo alikuwa anapika. sherehe za kule nyingi sana. Yaani especially kama harusi na nini na nini zinafanyika tuseme kwa makanisa zinaanzia kama saa 8:00 hivi. Lakini kuingia katika ukumbi ni 6. Naona zinaanza saa 12 jioni na mpaka saa 5. Hiyo ndio mipango tu. Tuseme ni system yetu. Siwezi jua sana ni kwa nini lakini tulikuta hivyo 
na kilicho nifurahisha sana katika wedding yangu was my dress That's and good. my hair of which wow. is this one <laughs> yes <laughs> Mm. Yeah, to come with it. I'm going to Cinderella gown, very nice one. I like it. Mm. Uh, on top of that, I think um, the most inspiring moment is when we were signing the marriage certificate. Mm. I was like, oh my God, there's been a journey. I'm married to a foreign mm. a lady. Mm. Uh, that was mm-hmm. really a great inspiration. A foreign a Muzungu. <laughs> from Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it really inspired me so much because uh-huh. actually uh, I met a lady with a friend to me. She's mm-hmm. not a wife. She's a girlfriend every single day. But at some on the same time she's a mother to my kids. Um, we have not uh, actually had issues. We look like we have married yesterday. We mm-hmm. look very young but to me to mezana to na watoto. Yeah and um, this is how we live every day. We wake up in the morning If we are going somewhere, she's she's your office. She's going to be left in the house. We meet in every single day. I don't think there's a day that uh, we've never called one another Mm-mm. since then. Maybe if it's a fear. Unless it's a fear or something like that. Mm. So basically, we are friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, in quotes, but we are married. There's a place we went. Normally, we went uh, somewhere to take a drink and eat supper. And guys were like, eh, hey, is this your wife really? Then I was like, ah, ah, this is my wife. And somebody was doubting that you know, you guys are not married. This is what we call Mpango Akando here. But mm. I don't find. Can you prove? Mm-hmm. She showed the photos and everything. And oh, you cannot be serious. Mm. You can't be serious. This guy is, is your wife. Why are you so free? Many people have been asking, what is this which makes you look like you are dating? Um, I think one thing I learned from the parents. The, lay, the, da, the dad, my father-in-law, is that uh, when I went to pay door, I gave all the cash to the uncles, it was counted, then it was passed to the father, my father-in-law. The mother-in-law, or the mother was seated next. He, her dad never even checked that money. She picked the amount of money and passed all the amount to the mother. Unlike here, mzee huku kwetu ukilipa mahali kipeana mzee anachukua na kwa kofia melewa my father in law did not even put that money in his pocket alipitisha kwa mke wake who is my mother in law and i think i learned something from there and later when because we had a lot of time with my father in law being with my parents actually now that i have no parents they are still my parents they have always told us to be very honest transparent and not don't make anybody go to sleep angry whatever mistake and learn to say you are sorry, whether you are a man or a lady. And that's what has kept us actually in mm. happiness. Our honeymoon was in two places, uh, Tanzania, Bahari Beach, for a week. And then we came to Kenya at uh, Paradise Inn in Paradise, Kuala, yeah. for one week. Curtis of my very good friend called uh, the current MP for uh, Lukuyani, Bwana Innocent, I thank you so much, thank you. MP Mwashimiwa. Uh, we schooled together with Mo University with the Mwashimiwa Innocent Mugabe, who actually even came for the wedding in Tanzania. After those two weeks, now we decided to settle in Kenya, but we also uh, have a home in Tanzania. And every Christmas, actually, we go to Tanzania, because the whole, the whole year we are in Kenya, and our whole day is always in Tanzania. But uh, basically, we are in Kenya because I teach yeah. in Kenya mm. and uh, she does a business in Kenya. Of course. <laughs> Bado ndiko na convince kwamba tukae kule lakini niliona shughuli zake nyingi hawezi kuacha huko. Tofauti na mimi sikuwa na shughuli ambayo inani inani funga. Inanifunga kule. So nikaona it was easy for me to come here. It was hard yeah. in another way because I miss my friends, my family too. I used to see them every day. Lakini, but, but, but generally, but generally, <laughs> generally, the Bible is very clear. Yes, the Bible said so. Your people will be my people. Okay. So definitely she had to come to Kenya. Yeah. And, uh, actually, I think she's very happy. But yeah. uh, we always get to Tanzania and come back to Kenya. But we are settled home because mm. she's married in Kenya. 
actually we have done all the documentation she's a Kenyan mm -hmm. she has an ID she has a carry pin and alipa ushuru na ninavyokaa huku pia niko comfortable na new friends yes na wapenda so i'm very comfortable actually she's a Kenyan anajua hustle za Kenya eh najua ku hustle she's really she's really a Kenyan she anajua mambo ya ku hustle sana huyu ni Mkenya anapiga mtaa sana anapiga biashara yeah she's a nasla I like in Tanzania where yeah. life is a bit soft. Mm. Um this is to mazea maisha ngumu. You must wake up and work hard uh, mm. to get something on the table. And she has gotten to use to that. Anaamka asubuhi saa nyingine mapema maisha ishia. Sasa hivi ata 10 bob siezi ichezea. Huyu akiona 10 bob anaweka mtu Tanzania hawajali. Huku bana maisha ngumu. So she's gotten hard eh? anajua so so ya, pia ilikuwa ni shida huku watu waelewe Kiswahili yake mm, lakini sasa hivi nishazoea kuongea huku sasa hivi wao pia wananielewa Um, mimi najua inatakiwa tu tusaidiane lakini most mimi ndo inatakiwa ni muhudumie mume lakini si ati pia mume hawezi kunisaidia hata kwa kitu kidogo jamani sikia <laughs> eh? jamani eh? <laughs> unanisaidia ana, inabidi kunisaidia hata kwa kidogo sio hata ninakoroga kitunguu nimetoka tu hivi kidogo vitunguu vinaangua akiniangalia anatakiwa ananiangalizia jamani hiyo <laughs> nashukuru lakini anamesaidia sana Um, mm. my expectations as a Kenyan man is that uh, a lady is supposed to serve you but unfortunately I'm not brought up that way we are a family of six five boys and one girl na sisi kwetu tunapika we sweep the compound you mop the house you cook so i know how to cook so much so anytime she's in the kitchen i'm there sometimes mm. i wake up early prepare breakfast not that time even now even this morning eh? mm. because our household was asleep with our daughter and we didn't wake them up so we woke up in the morning i did the breakfast she was doing the clothes and yeah so every day sometimes i say today i'm cooking for you guys and actually that has meant that bond to be very strong so mm. i can urge people who are married eh? get somebody who's ready to be your yeah. helper uh, not yes. a boss yes although we are putting the boss she's the real boss Mm -hmm. I'm the boss but she's the real boss. Uh, I cannot imagine that house with her every day. Yeah. Hata tulipoenda Tanzania kumsalimia my mom. Uh, pia alikuwa anapika, mama anakula. Hata mama anafurahia sana, alikuwa anamtengenezea juice, nini. Sasa mama yangu alikuwa anafurahia hata alinona nona hiyo kipindi. <laughs> We love you mama. No, uh -uh. Um let me be very honest. Um, Our kids have not been born by by luck. We always plan. We plan for our kids. We say we want a baby this time, and that's exactly the way we've been getting kids. Because um, this idea of just having a kid and you are not financially stable is really a big bother. So actually, I cannot say that we strained in getting our kids. It has always been planned. To so anybody outside there, you don't say it just ni bahati mbaya. Kuna ajali. You just need to sit down and think. We have. the capability the financial muscles of a baby right now because of education and everything and that has really kept, uh, given us a chance to plan live well yes. so mm -hmm. we planned for everything and actually it was even during the wedding uh, not after wedding not sorry after we said how many kids do we have maybe two three four mm -hmm. at most hiyo hatuna kabisa yani pesa ni yetu 
hiyo mimi naweza sema ukweli wa Mungu pesa ni yetu hakuna eti pesa ya huyu au huyu najua password yake anajua yangu <laughs> naweza nikakuta KTM hapo mimi nachukua naenda najisote na mrudishia na si ati kwamba ninaiba na mrudishia so let's be very honest sema ukweli hiyo be very honest Kenyans uh, i know we are not very open to our spouses but for our case hakuna pesa ya yangu na yake i know all the atm passwords you know my mpesa password i know our password uh, and i told you before i learned this from the the father my father in law during the paying of the dowry hiyo pesa kuweka kwa account yake and i saw that honesty that whatever you get is supposed to be yours kwa hivyo kwetu hapa hakuna pesa yangu na pesa bibi yangu she takes me out even without me knowing and i also take her out actually tunaishi kwa surprises mm. yes um for example just the other last month yes is it last month is yes, last month we were in mombasa for our five years anniversary yes and she didn't know mombasa so i just called her around mm. uh, three where are you going in Mombasa what for we have our anniversary she was like I said that mm. and I moved so we took an Uber from Pika all the way to SGR at 10 we in Mombasa I had hired a car we drove ourselves we went to English Point we spent there a night yeah went back up uh, in North Coast it was a big surprise and that's how we live because um, we met before the kids the kids have their space in our life mm. and we have our special time as our husband and wife that has really kept our relationship honesty and being there for your partner unapiga simu na uliza uko namna gani umekula and surprisingly before i leave ana uliza uko na pesa she confirms that i have money in my pocket mm the same to me so that thing has really kept us that honesty and transparent has really given us a better uh, smooth life in marriage so i can say marriage ni tamu ni tamu yeah, kwa i don't want it kwa sana ni katika siasa kusema ukweli nilikuwa nampa support sana kwa sababu nilikuwa nasaidia ku campaign with my friends tuna enda mahali tunasema tunataka mchague mheshimiwa wa nyamai because of this and this and this kwa maboda kwa nani nilikuwa kusema kweli nampa support sana kuna saa naishiwa hata mafuta ya gari <laughs> na namwekea ili aweze kwenda ndani kila mahali hivyo <clears throat> uh, a very supportive wife i want to say this lady is absolutely supportive this one huni mwamba eh So um she would wake up very early in the morning because with the politics you start very early. Saa 10 tushaamka. You have a timetable where you're going. You can imagine me going the whole of the five wards in Thika town. Yeah, you drive every day. Campaign ya subui, tunalala very late, we have meetings back up very late. She was always there for me. So actually one thing we almost left our, our kids without anybody. And we thank our girl, uh house help actually, who is like our daughter for taking care of her. So we went all places with her. She has had all the the political language and all that and she was there. Mm-hmm. Sometimes eh hey, nimeishiwa unaenda mahali fulani unapeana 20,000 naisha saa hiyo sina anything else. Then I just call her. Eh hey, hebu nitumie nguvu. She not ask me for what. Pengine yako side nyingine na wamama wa nyingine ama watu wa ndivi ni nyingine. So she was really my my beacon. She was my real foundation. So I'm still in politics I'm coming 2027 watch this from Thika town definitely Nyama is going to be there How do I see myself or our family as a family for the next 5 years Yes being a politician I'm going to be back in politics because I still love politics yeah. and this time I hope tutakuwa bibi ya mheshimiwa it's going to happen may god bless um, I want to I said I have a college called St Elitons Technical College along Thika Road where we are admitting students for certificate and diploma and uh, I want to grow that institution uh, so if you have a kid who has the diploma and certificate please check on 
St. Elton's Technical Institute along Pika Road at Wesambu. And also my tour farm, mm. where I actually, to that's my passion because I've done first degree and masters in the same. So I want to grow those two. I don't want to be employed in the next like uh, 10 years now after this. I don't want my kids to be employed. I want them to come to business because that is the best way. And also become an employer. So apart from politics, I want to grow my businesses and become oriented. Pia mimi na furahia kama unaendelea kupenda siasa. I want your dreams to come true. Okay, kwa maisha ya ndoa nimesoma inastahili sana uwe na uvumilivu. Uvumilivu kwa sababu kuna hali tofauti zinaweza zikatokea, kuna challenges zinaweza zikatokea. So usipokuwa mvumilivu unaweza ukaona marriage ni mbaya ama kuna kukosana, kuna kutokuelewana sometimes. Natakiwa tu mtu ujifunze uvumilivu sana sana. Mimi naweza advise mtu uvumilie whatever situation is kuna wakati kuna pesa kuna wakati hakuna pesa natakiwa ni muungane mshikane pamoja mjue mnafanya nini the way forward yeah. um, maybe my advice to the youth who are planning to marry i want to say that marriage is good ndoa ni mzuri sana uh, but there are three things i want the youth or a new couple that is coming up to know that you need to be ready uh, for marriage, it is not easy, it's not a walk in the park. Uh, sometimes finances can be a challenge, especially when there's no money mm -hmm. and uh, your wife is not ready to, to bear some changes. If you are getting eggs in the morning and you are not able to provide the eggs in the morning, what is the other partner doing? So the issue is that togetherness uh, in marriage, it becomes good. Again, honesty. Waswahili wa Tanzania wanasema ukchawa hiyo ni chaguo lako. Mm. So when I married, I married her, whatever characteristics good or bad uliamua and that's what they tell mm. you take your time. Take your time to learn somebody. Mm. So I want to urge the young people out there. Take your time, learn somebody, annoy somebody to see how you she reacts. That is the best way for marriage. And the other thing is uh, openness. Be open to one another and be a partner. If you just pull down your ego as a man and she pulls down her ego as a woman, then marriage is sweet. Give it to Glenny, na fry up Happiness. She makes me happy. Every time she gets home before me, the gonga mlango to you, she's there to receive me. Miss Yepo Kalewa Namstano Akazi. She's there to say, Karibu, she picks my luggage. Anafungua mlango ya gate na ingia anafunga. Ah kawaida si wangu mbona nasema ukifika unaambiwa karibu nyumbani pole kwa kazi. That happens. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel like a king every day. Yeah? And she does it out of heart. Eh? I don't take it for granted that she's either junior or I'm so senior, but happiness. Then she wants to know whether I've written. How was your day? All those things really make me appreciate her so much. Because it tells me that she's concerned. Again, she calls me after some time. How is the day? Are you fine? You can imagine she calls me to confirm if I've taken lunch. And you can press her. You lunch, you cooler. Almost every single day. So it has also turned to me. I want to know whether she has eaten. So, partially I'm a Kenyan, partially I'm a Tanzanian. She goes to the job She also makes very good pilau, actually. That's why any dishes are in my house. So uh, I've also learned so many things from her that uh, which have really improved my cooking, which really our kids enjoy so much, especially over the weekends. Okay, me na appreciate sana yeye kwa upendo wake na kuwa na majukumu kama baba katika familia. Ni mtu anajali familia. Sometimes si lazima tuende wote na yeye shopping, anaweza akaangalia tu ndani hakuna hiki, hakuna hiki. Mimi nikirudi nakuta kila kitu amenunua mpaka vitu vya jikoni spices vitu vya toilet tissues and everything sasa mpaka vitu vya sokoni vinyanya vitunguu yani kiasi kwamba unaweza ukashangaa eh hey, mpaka sokoni ameingia kwa hiyo mimi na 
na appreciate kwa kila kitu kutoka kwake kusema kweli na upendo wa hali ya juu We are, are the Kevins, Kevins and, and this, this is our, our love story. story.